When people talk about great guitarists, you rarely hear the name Leslie West, yet he was hugely influential. Pete Townsend, Slash, and even Yngwie Malmsteen were fans. Here are a few of his best tricks, ones that you can easily add to transform your play. Back in the early 90s, a buddy of mine from work and I were talking about guitars all morning. We decided to take the afternoon off, and we went down to a local video store, takes you back a bit, and we were looking for concert footage. We found this video called Night of the Guitar. It had Alvin Lee and Steve Howe and Robbie Krieger on it, and a bunch of other guys I knew just a little bit about. Anyway, we listened to the beginning, and I have to admit, I wasn't really into it. But then, this huge man walks onto stage with this thick New York accent, and he dedicates his performance to his first guitar teacher, Barry Manilow. <laughs> Needless to say, it was Leslie West. Now, of course, I knew Mississippi Queen, and I didn't really know anything else that he did, but that was the first time I really heard Theme for an Imaginary Western. If you don't know that song, go listen to it. Great song, written by Jack Bruce of Cream, and it's got not one, but two of the most beautiful solos in all of rock. They just sing. I became an instant Leslie West fan. All right, let's learn some of his tricks using the famous Mississippi Queen. His first trick is a famous one, and he's not the only one to use it. Clapton, Page, and a whole slew of others used it as well. But it's so good, you just gotta know it. It's a specific trick using the major and minor pentatonic in the blues. Here's a standard 12-bar blues in E, the sort of thing that's used all over blues and blues rock. Now here's the trick. Over the first four bars, you play the E major pentatonic, and then over the rest of it, you play just the E minor pentatonic. And you can transpose that to any key. Now, many people are familiar with the E minor pentatonic scale shown here. And one simple way to get the major pentatonic is just to move the minor pentatonic pattern down three frets, and you get the major pentatonic shown here. So those are the two scale patterns. Let's see how Leslie used them in the solo to Mississippi Queen. But that brings me to his second trick, phrasing. Now, phrasing is usually defined as how you play the notes rather than which notes you play. And it can involve all sorts of things like timing and dynamics and effects like slides and bends and vibrato. So it can get confusing. I kind of wish they just put a picture of Leslie West there and say, play like this guy. Again, this is so clear in the Mississippi Queen solo. He only plays a handful of notes, but he varies them enough to keep it really interesting. For example, the first two lines are and again, then the third line is almost identical, but it's slightly different. Notice the timing is a little bit different, and the fourth line has identical notes to the first two, but the timing is different. And then you'll notice this other little affectation that's done on this line. Notice he pulls off and trails off to this note. He doesn't play, which he could do, but this is just a little bit different. Because he played so few notes, he had to rely on phrasing to sound unique and get his point across. Great players like Santana, Brian May, and Jeff Beck could do this as well. And that brings us to a third trick, one that every guitar player has access to, but few actually try to use it. It's about standing out. Let's hear a quote from Leslie West in 1987. If you take 100 guitar players and put them in a room, 99 of them are going to sound the same. The one who plays different, that's the one you're going to remember. I learned that you should think about the song, think about the chords you're playing behind. Most of my solos come right out of those chords. Now that's music to my ears. Pay attention to the chords, play chord tones, and focus on how you play those notes. 
If you want to learn more of the simple tricks of the classic rock masters, click here. Because I saw things so simply and I captured a lot of their simple insights on my videos. So click here. We'll see you in the next video and we'll see you on down the road.